Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven, and I just got back from the thrift store. Um, me and my friend Daisha, we take the bus to and from school, and on our bus route, there is a local thrift store. We've been there before with our roommate, but um, actually, we had pretty good luck at the thrift store before, and we actually recorded some clips when we went to this thrift store, and I was supposed to make a thrift haul video featuring um Daisha and Olivia but I never made that video so I guess I'll make that video and post it one day because they gave some of their own thrifting tips and they showed what they got too so it's like a special guest thrifting video so I'll post that one day but this time it was just me and Daisha and we stopped on our bus route at the thrift store I really wasn't expecting to get anything because it was just we only had like 30 minutes to spend and I don't really have a lot of money right now so I was like I'm not probably not going to get anything, but I actually ended up getting some really good deals. Um, I want to apologize for the quality and the lighting of this video. My um, HD camera is like being weird about the battery, so I'm just using my webcam and the sun is starting to go down and it's just bleh, but hopefully you guys can see kind of well enough. Um, the first thing I want to show y'all that I got, I got this for 25 cents which is really cool because um, it didn't have a price tag. So I just brought it up to the um, lady and I was like, how much is this? She was like, mm, I give it to you for 25 cents. And I was like, okay, I'll take it. So it is just this army hat. And I'm pretty sure it's like a legitimate army hat that they actually give you when you go to the army. Cause you know how you'll see like the army jackets and it might actually have someone's name sewn on it and everything in the thrift store. I think this is like the matching hat that goes with the jackets. Yeah, it's not adjustable at all, but it is a size extra large. <laughs> Yet it still doesn't really fit my head. It's actually small on my head. I have a big head and plus with this hair on, it's just really fat head so this hat doesn't quite fit me but if you have a normal sized head um it should fit you and i'm telling you that because i'm thinking about putting these gold studs that i have they're just gold pyramid studs um on this hat like probably around the brim of it or something cool like that and I probably am going to sell it on my Etsy. I have not been selling stuff recently just because I'm in school and I've been really busy with school and everything. So I haven't really had a chance to go to the thrift store and go buy materials because I'm too busy buying materials for my actual like homework projects. Um, so I got this hat. I have the studs put them together, sell it on Etsy. Comment down below if you'd be interested in buying this studded out army hat and tell me how much you would buy it for so I can know how to price it. Um, yeah, it's it would be really cute if, like I would keep it if it fit me, but I have a humongous head, so of course it doesn't fit me. But yeah, I got that. The second hat related thing I got is kind of weird. I saw this video from Andrea's Choice, who is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite YouTubers. She's one of the people that like made me start getting into YouTube. If you don't know who Andrea's Choice is, definitely look her YouTube page up. She recently posted a video on how to make your own beanies out of old sweaters. And she basically took some old sweaters that she never wore, or she said you could go thrifting for any kind of sweater. And she used the sweater material because like sweater material and beanie material is kind of the same thing so she used the sweater as material to cut out her beanie shape and sew it together and make a beanie and I was in the thrift store and I was like I want to get a sweater so I can make a beanie but I was like why would I get this whole big old sweater for you know three dollars when I'm not going to use the whole sweater I'm just going to use a small amount of it to make the beanie so I went to the baby section and I got a baby sweater since I don't need that much material. And um, it was only 75 cents. And so I thought that was a smarter idea. That way you don't have to buy, you know, this whole big old sweater for like $3. You could just get a baby one for cheaper. And it's perfect for making a beanie out of because basically what you're going to do is this bottom band of the sweater is going to be the band that goes around your head. And then this area is where the beanie is gonna be. So if I may demonstrate, it's gonna look a little something like 
Oh, God. Like this, in a way, if you can imagine that. But, of course, you're not going to leave the whole shirt. You're going to cut it and sew it up into a beanie. So I thought Andrea had a really good idea. And I thought this would be the perfect, like, thing to use for just a little baby sweater and if you want to know um how to make the beanie i'll probably put her video down below because there's no use in me making a copycat video of a video that she already made so i'll just link you guys to the beanie video so you can see how to make a beanie out of a sweater or a baby sweater in my case and the second or the third thing um is this black oh wow you're not gonna be able to see this at all Okay, you can kind of see it. It is a corduroy vest. It is a black corduroy vest. I really was drawn to it because of the fact that it's corduroy. Um, for fall, winter, corduroy is very in. It always is. And I've never, I don't think I've ever had anything corduroy like at all. And I love layering with vests just because I find it easier. Like you can have on a hoodie or something and put a vest over your hoodie, pop the hood out of the back. I just really like that look. So I have my little black leather vest that I wear all the time. So now I have a corduroy one that has kind of a different silhouette to it. Um, that I can interchange out with my leather one so I'm not just wearing the leather one all the time and I really just liked the um, the pockets the collar the shape of it I guess I can try it on for you guys so you can get a better idea I'm kind of sad that I'm not using my HD camera I feel like you can't really see as good as you should be able to but hopefully you can get the idea it's just a little price tag it was $2.99 for this corduroy best so it's just like that it's kind of like cropped it comes like right my belly button is right there so it's just like a nice length a nice cut you can zip it all the way up or just wear it layered with things and I thought it was so cute so I got it and then last but not least um, my friend Daisha actually picked this one out for me it is a denim dress size 16 so it's like an oversized denim short sleeve button up dress and i'm going to tilt this over real ghetto -ly. tilt this down so you guys can see it looks like the dresses that my great grandma used to wear it's very 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 grandma but i think it has potential um, I just like the way the sleeves have the little detail of it being rolled up. I like the collar of it. Um, I like the pockets in the front. And she was saying how you could just cut it into like a shirt. But I was like, I think it would be cool if you like actually left it long and just layered with it. It's like this. It's like really long and you can actually button it all the way into a dress it's like a maxi dress almost pretty much and obviously if I were to wear it as a dress I would put a belt on it because I don't want to look like a boxy piece of nothing but my idea was actually turning it into a high-low dress or a high-low like layering piece like cutting it shorter and then having it gradually fade into the full length and I just thought it was really cool. I might do some sort of bleaching to it too since it is um, like a denim but I thought it was cool. I thought it had potential. I thought it was different. It's something that you don't really see people wearing this like long type of thing with the short sleeve and I thought it would be good for layering and it was only like two dollars I think. Yeah, it was only $2.49 for this thing. And like I said, I just thought it was different. I saw that it had some potential. So I'm going to mess around with it, style it a couple of ways, and see if it really has any potential. I know it's kind of a weird grandma type of thing. But it was only $2.49, and I just wanted to try out those ideas. 
Hey, so this is like part two of the haul. I did not know that there was gonna be a part two. I didn't know that I was gonna go thrifting again the next day. So I actually went thrifting again and I got three more things that I wanted to include in this haul. Um, the first thing I kind of already destroyed per se, but I have a picture of it in its original state. It looks like this. It is a, um, like a, turtleneck sweater tops would actually be cute if you're the type to wear those turtleneck um, sleeveless crop top things they look really cute with high-waisted like leggings and things like that I've been seeing a lot of girls wear those but I personally hate wearing turtlenecks I feel very claustrophobic and like I'm going to choke and pass out and have an anxiety attack when I wear turtleneck stuff or just anything that's like close to my neck like even this hoodie sweater combo right now was really just not the most comfortable thing in the world so I don't wear turtlenecks that's why I bought it because I was going to turn it into a, another sweater beanie um the little baby sweater that I just showed you I made a beanie out of it and it's in the wash right now because I got makeup all over it when I wore it but then I took the um new one and I made another one and it looks like this it's just your basic black beanie and it has the white stripes going across the um, like brim or bottom of it because this is the bottom of the shirt and I just sewed up the sides and the top of it just like Andrea showed in her video and I got a lot of requests um, after because I already posted a picture of the beanie on Instagram since this now it's like days later from the first part of recording the video um, and since I posted pictures of the beanie on Instagram everybody was like make a tutorial but I was like Andrea's Choice already made that tutorial so why would I copy her video but y'all want to see how you do it um, when you sew it since she showed how to do it using glue and I sew mine um, so maybe I will make a video showing how to make a be uh, one of these sweater beanies using Andrea's method, but using a sewing machine. Um, so yeah, it's really, really easy. It takes me like five minutes to make these. This is my second one. I'm probably gonna be making a whole bunch more. I'll probably make more and maybe add some stuff to it and sell it on Custom Thrift. Um, but yeah, it's just your basic beanie. I'll put it on for you, I guess. Fix your hair underneath it. Boom. So yeah, um, so I made that and the little sweater thingy that I got to make this with was only like a dollar something, two dollars. So it's a lot better than going to the store and buying beanies, especially since my head is huge. And when I go to stores and try to buy beanies, they don't even fit my head anyways. So these I can make them custom size to my head, only cost two dollars worth of materials and it only takes like five minutes to make them like, so it's much better than buying them. Um, anyways, the next stuff that I got when I went thrifting the second time, um, it took me a long time to find these things. I was with my friends and she was shopping for a long time and I was like, oh, I'm not finding anything. But finally, towards the end of the trip, we were in there for like an hour. I finally found these two tops. Um, and the first one is this like velvet, um, long sleeve black top. It's just a plain long sleeve top with like a scoop neck or like a almost like a boat neck I guess but it's just plain like nothing special about it except the material as you can see is like crushed velvet which I think is a really cool texture a really cool look it gives this kind of like shiny texture and um, it's like a plain black top but it has something else going to it and it just adds more interest to your outfit rather than just wearing a regular plain black top um so you can still be simple and classy but still have some interest in your outfit and i don't have anything that's crushed velvet and crushed velvet is really good for fall and winter if you want to be on trend this is a fabric that is on trend for fall and winter and um, it can look kind of tacky in my opinion when it's like in bright colors like greens and reds and pinks crushed velvet that's just like too much for me so I thought a black plain top 
would be a good way to start. And yeah, so I really like that. It only costs $1.99. And then the last thing um, was this top. And it's just a tank top. But it's really cool because it has like this metallic fabric. I have no idea what kind of fabric this is. It looks handmade, like someone made it with their home sewing machine, but really well done. Um, because it doesn't have any sort of like tag or anything like that and it's completely like reversible It's exactly the same on the front and back except for the fact that the one side is silver and the other side is like a pearl Kind of color. So I thought that was really cool. It's just a really basic tank top silhouette kind of baggy But um, I just like the fact that it was like reversible with silver on one side pearl on the other side and I really like this shiny fabric that I don't really see anywhere really good for the holiday season um I don't know just another basic piece but the fabric is really cool so I really like that it costs $2.99 and I think it was worth it this would be good for layering put underneath stuff just so you can have like a pop of metallic peeking through your blazer or whatever so I thought that was really cool and you can wear it this way or you can wear it this way and it just gives you a whole different look so um, I actually was able to find things two days in a row at the same store only spending like five dollars each time so for a total of ten dollars I got some really cool pieces I made two beanies and yeah so I just wanted to share that with you guys hopefully you guys got some ideas of stuff that you can get next time you go thrifting and I hope you guys enjoy this video see you in my next one bye by the way, you're probably wondering, like, why is she have her makeup all done up and her hair, but then she's, like, wearing a hoodie? It's really cold outside, and it was, like, finals week, and I didn't feel like getting dressed, so I just threw on a hoodie, but my hair already looked like this. And, oh, this is actually my brown sugar hair that you guys have already seen before. It's the same brown sugar hair that I had before I had the hair by Bella Brie hair so I went back to it because it is now a wig since when I took it off it was all in one piece all I did was sew clips on it and now it's a clip on wig so I just clip this on whenever I want and leave my little hair out in the front and yeah I've been rocking a middle part with it just because it's how the wig is made it's kind of made into a, like a middle I mean, I could twist it, but it just, I don't know. Middle part is the easiest thing. I'm not, I don't know. I feel like the middle part doesn't quite look right on me, but I'm doing it anyways because it's easier. And yes, yeah, so this is my brown sugar hair, the hair that I tried to ombre. You can't really tell in this lighting. Nothing different about it, just clipped it back on. So yeah, definitely reusable. Still looks good in my opinion. Um, and yeah, um, I just look bummy because it's finals week and my makeup is done because I didn't really have finals today. So I came home early and I got bored and I started watching makeup tutorials and then I went and did my makeup for absolutely no reason, but I still didn't feel like putting on a real shirt for this video. So that's why I look like this. Oh, I got my nose pierced. Can you see it? Can you see it? It's just a really small silver stud. Um, I want to get like a bigger like rhinestone because you can't even like see it because I'm so fair skinned the silver just like blends in but I kind of like it like that because I don't want anything too dramatic on my face oh my nails are ratchet yeah um I'm just rambling what do y'all think of my nose piercing do you like it do you not like it I like it it's very subtle it's not a big deal I always wanted it for some reason so I got it it was only $15 so and it didn't hurt it kind of pinched a little bit when he first did it and then after that it wasn't sore or anything it doesn't bother me it just feels like it was meant to be there but yeah subscribe to be updated of new videos like this video for more like this one check out my online clothing store find me on twitter tumblr and instagram and thank you for watching